my name is Miss Delaney and I am one of the educators and marketing coordinator at the Living Arts and Science Center. Thank you so much for joining us today to celebrate Black History Month, the month of February. We are going to be reading a fabulous book all about Garrett Morgan. Garrett Morgan is very important because he invented the stoplight and he's also from Kentucky. So we are going to be reading Garrett Morgan, Saving the Day. Morning dawned and the sun's golden rays signaled to Garrett Morgan that it was a new day. With his head in the clouds, always full of a dream, he was no help to others, or so it seemed. Ooh, that's a nice big yawn. Everybody, big stretch. Mm. His brothers and sisters worked the house and the field, but Garrett's talents had yet to be revealed. He fell off all ladders, couldn't hammer a nail, was too weak to lift things, not even a pail. They'd all say, run along, go be by yourself. And though he liked dreaming, he wanted to help. He'd spend time alone, long walks he would take, his mind imagining new creations to make. In the middle of the road, a wheel lay on the ground. I know I can use that, so Garrett bent down. But sometimes his dreaming got him into trouble. But he wouldn't watch where he was going, his mind in a bubble. See, along came a car from the side, a red truck, and though they missed Garrett, the nerves had been struck. Both slammed on their brakes, dodged the boy by a hair, but the near collision gave everyone a scare. Back at home, his mom said, you wait here for your dad. He knew he was in trouble, that his parents were mad. His father walked in, looked at Garrett a beat, then called him over. Come here, son, have a seat. You have a great mind, imaginative, keen, ready to invent new from what has not yet been seen. Yes, you have a great mind, but could do even more. A tutor in the city could help your dreams soar. The decision was hard. We don't want you away, but it's for your own good. You'll understand one day. Garrett's mother pulled him close and she said, but always remember this son, keep in your head. While Ruth's good at fishing, while Wills likes to bake, Lucia loves the stars and the patterns they make. Frank's good with tools, can fix anything, and Minnie's at her best when she can sing. You too, son, have something that's all yours alone. Sometimes to contribute that's just not yet known. All are given a gift. Sometimes you cannot learn. It's what you do with that gift that's your gift in return. The city was loud, people everywhere, and cars and horses and bicycles were there all on the same roads, all at the same times. Horns honking, cars crashing, no reason or rhyme. Garrett studied hard, and when his lessons were done, he found a job doing something he found fun, fixing sewing machines with their rotors and springs, and gears and buttons made him think of many things, like a kind of a stitch on the sewing machine, one that made zigzags and kept the edges clean. His mind turned and turned with new ideas to invent. Some drew attention, some helped pay the rent. But Garrett didn't care about fame or about wealth. But he wanted most was to show that he could help. The day's early dawn signaled Garrett to wake. He decided to walk a scenic route he would take. The grass sparkling green, he had just cut, been cut low. Garrett longed to run through it. He decided to go. But as he started, a white car whizzed past, heading for the crosswalk and going quite fast. Then he heard tires screech and someone yell, stop! And a horse and a carriage were approaching. He could hear the hooves clop. 
But the horses kept on going and didn't even slow down. Garrett ran fast to warn them, but soon heard the sound. First a crash and then a boom. Then the horse whined high. When Garrett finally got there, he tried not to cry. Though everyone was okay and the horse would be all right, he had seen too many wrecks. It was a terrible sight. That day, he worked on his sewing machine. His mind drifted back to the collision he'd seen. There has to be some way to let drivers know that someone else is approaching, when to stop and when to go, and a signal before stopping, so first they could slow down, but they'd have to see it. It couldn't only be a sound. But as Garrett wandered home, ideas in his head flowing, he forgot to pay attention to just where he was going. He stepped off a curb, the bite signaled, no doubt. He saw a bright light, and then he went out. His mind was filled with colorful light, on and then off. What a beautiful sight. The green grass of a field, illuminated by the sun, shone bright and, and invited Garrett to run. Golden light through the window eased in the morning. A new day was beginning. It was a subtle warning. The red glow of the coals, far too hot to touch, told Garrett to stop. One more move was too much. His mind was racing, ideas twisted and knotted. Then he suddenly jumped up and exclaimed, I've got it, a traffic signal. That's what he'd create so all could travel safely. Yes, it'd be great. The red, yellow, and green would come along later. It was Garrett's foundation that all made us safer. Garrett had a gift, yes, that is a fact, but what meant the most was that he gave back. Okay, so today to go with our story about Garrett Morgan, we are going to be doing a fun traffic light craft. So online I printed out these wonderful little stop lights, but you can always draw your own and you're going to need some cut up pieces of construction paper, a watercolor set, some glue, and some scissors. So I'm going to take my brush and dip it into my water. Watercolor is actually my favorite medium. I love using watercolor. And then what you're going to do is on your paper, cover all of it with the watercolor paint. And if you want a colorful stoplight, you are totally welcome to do that. This is your craft and you just have fun with it. But I'm just gonna make mine my classic little stoplight. So in our Mark's Berry Discovery Room, we actually have a stoplight that you can turn on and off because our theme for our Mark's Berry Discovery Room is Kentucky, our home. And since Garrett Morgan is from Kentucky, it is perfect to fit in with that theme. There are lots of famous inventors and inventions here in Lexington and in Kentucky. We have the Bar uh, Barlow son and father, Milton Barlow, and they invented a lot of really cool things such as an ovary model, which is a planetarium model, and then also post-it notes and the birthday song were also made here in Kentucky. All right, after you finish up um, painting yours, you're just going to wait for it to dry, and then after it dries, we're going to cut it out with our scissors, okay? Mm -hmm. And so now we are going to add the construction paper to make our stoplight. I love mixed media projects, so this is going to be fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue, and on the top of my stoplight in the first circle, I'm just going to add a big glob of glue, and then I'm going to start with my cut construction paper. You can also use tissue paper if you want. And I'm just gonna add it to the top of my stoplight. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna finish up. Here's the finished craft. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of The Living Think. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all social media. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook at The Living Arts and Science Center. Please join us at the center really soon. Bye friends.